Hello, in this video, I will show you different ways that you can bring your work data into John Deere Operations Center so you can review your data from multiple displays, Deere and non Deere, in one location for easier analysis and reporting in John Deere Operations Center. Let's get started. The first way I will show you is by using the John Deere Data Manager. John Deere Data Manager allows you to batch upload files to your organization or choose to upload individual files to different organizations. After logging into your operations center, click More, select the John Deere Data Manager, and click Download. Follow the prompts to download and save the latest version of John Deere Data Manager to your computer desktop. Once you finish the download, you can open John Deere Data Manager. Note that the software version will be displayed at the bottom of the John Deere Data Manager screen. To upload your files, select the organization from the drop-down where it says To. Then click on the drop-down where it says From and click on Browse to find a USB. If the John Deere data file is compressed, extract it to a new folder. Ensure all files are unzipped. Click Select the folder to get the files from your USB. You can choose to send individual files or all files. Next, Click Upload to start uploading the files to your organization. You will notice a green progress bar at the bottom. Once you see Finished Uploading as the status above of the green progress bar, this process is complete and your data has been uploaded to your organization. To see the file in your organization, click More, then select the files. The files will show grayed out if it's still being processed. Once it's finished, the status will change to File Processing Finished. Note that even though the status says file processing finished, it may take some time for the totals and maps in other agronomic tools to populate. Another way to send the data to Operations Center is by using the Files app. Click More, then click Files. Please note, file size should not exceed 100 megabytes to be able to upload any data via files. Data from displays needs to be compressed to a .zip folder before uploading through files. To zip your file, right-click on the file and hover over 7-zip, then select the Added to name of the file .zip. Once the file is zipped, go back to Files page and click Upload Files. You can drag and drop the files or click on Choose the Files to Upload to browse and select your files. Then click Upload. This closes the Upload Files window and a status bar is displayed. Once the upload is complete, you will see the status as File Processing Finished. You can also send the files to Operations Center via the MyTransfer mobile app and via wireless data transfer. To send the data via MyTransfer app, Customers will need to transfer the data from the display to the MyTransfer app before uploading to the Operations Center. You will need a mobile device, download the MyTransfer app, a Mac Band flash drive for iOS, or generic USB drive for Android. Operations Center Organization. For more details, please refer to the MyTransfer video link in the comments section below. To automatically send the data via wireless data transfer, you will need a John Deere display, JD-Link terminal, an active JD-Link subscription, and Operations Center organization. What triggers WDT to send the data to Operations Center? A change to information on the resources or work setup page on the Green Start 3 or Generation 4 displays, a change to any machine or implement profile information, a change to documentation information on the display, Display changes, 
and if you have S700 series and newer combined with a Generation 4 command center, WDT will also be triggered when disengaging the combine unloading algorithm. Thanks for watching.